And a deadly crash has closed a Provo airport. Officials with the city of Provo say four people were on board. The city says one person is dead, another in critical condition, and the remaining two have minor injuries. Information on what exactly happened is limited, but we are told a small plane crashed on the runway immediately after taking off around 1130 this morning. The airport is expected to remain closed until noon tomorrow as officials investigate the crash. And in Wasatch County, a group of snowmobilers got to see firsthand the dangers of this round of snow. It happened on New Year's Day when four snowmobilers were riding around the Strawberry River. The snow came down so hard, it buried them. They spent several hours trying to dig out, but eventually called search and rescue. Rescuers say they were actually in really great shape considering the freezing and snowy conditions. And we're learning more about a deadly snowmobiling accident. The Wasatch County Sheriff's Office says it happened when 55 year old Kenneth Block was riding his snowmobile up a steep slope. They say that snowmobile flipped back on top of him, Block dying on the scene. Authorities say he was originally riding with a group of friends, but was alone when this accident happened. The crash is under investigation and an autopsy has been scheduled. And a Park City Mountain employee has passed away after falling from a chairlift. According to the resort, a little before 11 this morning, a tree fell on the line of the shortcut chairlift, causing the employee to fall 25 feet. That employee died on the scene. Ten other people on the chairlift were safely evacuated. The lift will stay closed while officials investigate. And another major concern on the mountains, avalanches. Take a look at this one. This avalanche happened in Little Cottonwood Canyon. The canyon, as well as the resorts, Alta and Snowbird, shutting down from New Year's Eve until just this morning while crews worked on avalanche mitigation and clearing roads. Avalanche experts say this new layer of snow is different from what we're used to seeing here in Utah. The snow is heavy and it's wet, which can easily cause snow slides. Experts tell skiers and riders to stick to groomed ski resorts and avoid the backcountry. So on a scale of one to five, we're at a level four in some places, a level five. This is the real deal. This is nothing to mess around with. These are tree snapping, bone crushing, not come home to our family kinds of avalanches once they're triggered in the backcountry. So as he just mentioned, right now the risk for avalanches is high across the state. The Utah Avalanche Center says if you plan to hike or ski in the snow, make sure you have a safety kit handy in case an avalanche does in fact hit. Okay, let's take a look at this beautiful video of Bryce Canyon. Now, while our winter weather has made things pretty messy on the roads, we're not hearing a lot of complaints on the slopes out there. Tossing it over to meteorologist Nate Larson, even so, it is nice to see things calm down a little bit tonight, especially after the past couple of days we've had, Nate. Yeah, uh, feet of snow up in the mountains, Courtney. It's just phenomenal to see all that moisture stack up, even parts of the valley. Uh, we are still dealing with some lingering snow showers. Notice the core of the storm system well off to the east. This is satellite and radar. There is still just a little bit of light precipitation hugging portions of northern Utah and a little bit of moisture uh, spreading into southern Utah as well. We have a weak disturbance, an area of low pressure that's going to form and slide through the southern tier of the state uh, overnight, and it will bring some light snow showers uh, to areas in Iron, Washington, and uh, even uh, off towards the east, Kane, Garfield counties as well. Here's a look at some of the light precipitation with storm tracker radar. Again, most of the weather happening just to the west uh, of a lot of the populated areas, so uh, just on the eastern fringes of the Great Salt Lake, but we do have some light snow coming down in Salt Lake County and a little bit in Utah County as well. Future cast showing that again, the bulk of the precipitation, uh, there could be some light showers up north, but mainly down over the southwest and south central portion of the state into tomorrow. This is six o'clock on Tuesday morning. So don't be surprised if you have a little bit of light snow coming down if you're heading out to work early tomorrow morning after the long weekend. Uh, again, snow showers in the southeast corner. This is about 10 o'clock by late morning. And then by the afternoon, a lot of the moisture will be out of here. We'll see high pressure build back in temporarily. And uh, another system behind that one lining up for later in in the week. Dog walk forecast then tomorrow. Again, slight chance of snow showers in the morning, 27 as you head out early, about 31 around lunchtime. We should peak at about 34, 35 degrees, but then we're back down to 32 at 5 o'clock. Plan on some cloud cover out there sticking around. And uh, again, as far as another storm system, we've got yep, even more storms lined up, more chances of snow. Courtney will talk about when in that full forecast coming up. All right, sounds good. Thank you, Nate. Coming up in our Worth Watching segment, Utah's first New Year's Day broadcast. 
Craig Wirth has a look back at the historic day, including exclusive footage from 1956. And a machete attack on three New York City police officers near Times Square. We'll have more on this developing story when we come back. All right, plus we have avalanche uh, alerts and danger still in the forecast. We'll talk about how long that sticks around and how much snow could stack up, as I mentioned, for southern Utah. More on the forecast coming up after the break.